Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I've been using this Trend 18 volt mitosaur for a few weeks now. I really like it, but I miss having a mitosaur station. I don't have room for one, so I'm gonna make this one inspired by my friend Andy. I'll put a link to his video down below. So first, I'm gonna make some wings or some work supports. I'm gonna make three in total and they're gonna have stops on a couple and one's just gonna be a support. So I'm gonna use some 18 mil MDF for this First job is to struggle to get it on the bench. I can mark out the height that the sides of the mitosaur are and then use the track saw to get these pieces cut. I also need some pieces that are going to be the top of these supports and the bit that's going to clamp onto the bench. It doesn't really matter what size these are, but I want them slightly bigger, so I'm going to get a piece ripped for those. I want the miter saw to go on a base, so I'm going to measure out how big I need that, and while I've got the track saw, I'll get a piece cut for that as well. I can position the miter saw onto the base and then there's four holes in each corner so I can mark out where they are. First, I'm going to drill a hole about halfway through the board using a 25mm falsener bit, and this is so the bolts will be recessed. With those holes drilled, I can then use an 8mm bit to go through the centre point of those holes for the bolts themselves. So now I can get the base attached. Just a bolt goes through the miter saw and then a nut and washer from the underside and all tightened up. I can now see how far the stops need to go in from the side of the bench. No need for them to go any longer than the fence on the actual miter saw. So now I can use the miter saw to cut the pieces all to that length. This is all going to get attached together with some screws and glue. So first I'm going to pre-drill some countersunk holes. Then it can all get attached together. So I've got the two tall pieces which are the same height as the miter saw itself. But then we've put the miter saw on a base so the top bit goes on and that will account for that. I'm going to put a capping piece on the front and that's going to hang over the bench and give a clamping option. So I can get three pieces cut to that length and you can see I'm already using the support. These just get glued and screwed on the same as all the other bits. Now, I've made three of these. One's just gonna be left as it is. One's gonna have a little support or stop on the left, the other on the right, so I've got lots of options. Now, I've cut one last piece, and this is to attach the miter saw itself to the bench. So just to help align it, I get it in the vise, some glue on, and then the miter saw can be lifted into place and some screws driven down into it. Now the sides of my bench aren't quite flush, so I'm just gonna use a packer in the meantime to put a bit in there so it can clamp without tilting. But in the future, I'm just gonna add a strip to the front of the bench and make everything flush. So how it all works is you can just clamp on the miter saw and then move these supports all around. Now when I wanna do repeated cuts, I can just get a bit of wood, line it up with the blade, move a stop over to the end of the board which gives work support and the repeatable stop. Also, if you don't want to clamp it, they can just go in the vise as well, which might be an even simpler option. 
So that's it all done. A really simple Mysore station that can go on top of any bench or table. So when I'm working outside, I can move it. It can easily be stored away. And I think it's just gonna work until I get a proper workshop. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.